decided I want to do a reading from the Book of Common Point for you guys. It's going to be on page 172. Uh, it's the Common Point Principles of Understanding. And there's 28 of them. Um, it is in, it's in chapter 8 of the book. If you have the book, you can follow along. If you don't, you get a freebie. Down at the bottom of the page, it reads, You deserve an extraordinary life. And the most valuable thing you will ever uncover or discover is the understanding and the acceptance of yourself. Acceptance is a big part of that sentence. The better you know yourself, the more valuable you will become in all aspects of life, tangible and intangible. We dedicate you to try to understand our friends, but when we look within, we avoid ourselves at all costs making many excuses not to see who we are, who we, who we truly could become. That's the beginning, that's the ending of, of this chapter, but then it goes into the common point principles of understanding. And what I want to do as a lesson, if you want to do as a few guys, um, comment back to me, comment in the comment sections on which one of these you would like to follow or which ones you agree with or don't agree with. Here we go. The common point principles of understanding. One, always bring peace to your surroundings. Two, never argue to prove a point. Three, live an organic natural life and give back what you take from the earth, which <laughs> a lot of people don't do that. Four, never hurt or kill any living thing for power, control, or pleasure. Five, never lie, deceive, or manipulate for personal gain. Six, tangible things should never be your motivator. It should be the intangible things that should be your motivator. Love, peace, giving. Intangible things will all never come your way. Seven, I love this one. Never fight anyone's battles and never let anybody else fight yours. Stand up for yourself. Number eight, your words must be gold. Stand behind what you speak or don't speak at all. Number nine, use no drugs unless it, it, it improves your life. Drugs are not for pleasure, they're to improve your life. Number 10, I love it. <laughs> so, nah, hey man, I wanna get stoned. Um, uh, we can lean both ways on the weed thing if it's, if it's a drug. Um, number 10, don't desecrate your body and don't self mutilate because I believe it destroys your self-worth. Your self-worth comes from, from within, not external look, what you wear, what you have on your body. That's not your self-worth. That's a created identity. You don't need to create your identity. You are what you are. Number 11, keep honest communication about sexual activity and sexual needs. It doesn't have to be a secret. Don't be afraid to be who you are sexually. 12, always appreciate time for what it can bring you. I have a quote in my book that time is the most important thing you'll ever have in your life. So that's a big one. Number 13, your health history should be an open book. Don't be afraid to talk about your health history. Number 14, invest in the intangibles first. What do I mean by that? Invest in intangible things first. Love understanding, giving, peace. Um, when you invest in the intangible things in your life, tangible things will come to you automatically. It just happens that way. Number 15, understand, understanding that all living things have equal value. All living things have equal value. You are no better than the birds, the fly, the clouds, 
the bugs, the ants that crawl on your kitchen table. We are all equal as living beings in this planet. And we have a tendency to think we are above that. We are more advanced, but we're not better. Okay? I talk about that in my book a lot. Number 16, understand people are not, hang on, understand people are not created equal, but all people deserve equal opportunities and respect. We are not all equal. <laughs> I don't have the ability of a woman. I don't have the ability of um, somebody that maybe can see better than me or think better than me, vice versa. We're not equal, but we all have equal, should all have equal opportunity. 17, never take away a person's hope, promise, or possibilities. It's very selfish when you do that. Number 18, live without exterior classifications. This is the big one in the common point, the common point philosophy. Okay. Who was I? Yeah, number 18, live without external classifications, i.e. jewelry, religious icons, fashion of the day. We tend to live today in throwaway clothing. It's fashion. It's fashionable three months ago. Now I'm going to wear something else and put that in the landfill. There's so much wrong with that. It's not about your ego. Clothing should be, keep, should be there to keep you warm and comfortable. Not, it's not fashion. You can look good, that's fine. Be wise about it. Number 19, I love this one. Be a humble example by not imposing your God, faith, religion on others. It's ignorant and selfish. Most religions are selfish. I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do a video about my feelings on organized religion eventually. I talk, I have a whole chapter in my book about that. I think it's probably one of the most dangerous things that the human race has ever created is religion. We'll go into that later. Number 20, always understand that internal forces will bring you external greatness. Internal forces, your desire for things, will bring you external greatness. People will see you or understand you better when you do that. 21, if you take a vow of commitment, you must be true to that commitment to the end. I'll give you a good example. My dad and I, years ago, we were trimming trees, or cut, we were doing tree trimming. I was like a teenager. And he bid on the job. He said, I'll do the job for, I don't know, 2000 let's say $2,000. Um, after he bid on the do job that evening, we were at home. He was frustrated because he underbid the job. He knew he was going to lose his ass on that job. He was going to lose money. By the time he hired the men and the companies and we did the job, he was going to lose, be in the hole. But he took his commitment as a vow, his word as a vow. He didn't call the guy up and say, oh, by the way, I can't do the job and didn't pull out and back out. He had the dignity to say, I made the mistake. I'm going to own the mistake. And he refinished the job and lost money. That's what commitment's about. Okay. 22. Remember, all human beings are driven by their emotions. Everything we do is driven by our emotions. When you understand that, you, make it, you can make clearer choices in what you do, about things you do. 23. Okay, Remember, all human beings have basic primal biological needs that must be met, okay? Uh, so if you have a relationship with somebody or you're married to somebody and those biological needs are not being met between the two of you, you need to work that out. That's even cause a lot of problems in a marriage and relationship. It's just biological needs, not selfish needs, it's just needs. 24, peace, harmony, and understanding come from within. All the peace comes from within. Last one. 
excuse me. Last one, 25. Trust is the cornerstone of all relationships, friendships, marriages, societies, and countries. Trust is the cornerstone of all relationships, friendships, marriages, societies, and countries. I'm gonna go back here for a second and read what I opened with. You deserve an extraordinary life and the most valuable thing you will ever uncover and discover is the understanding and the acceptance. Underline that, italicize it in bold, bold print, the word acceptance. of yourself. The better you know yourself, the more valuable you will become in all aspects of life, tangible and intangible. Okay, um, this is in my book, The Book of Common Point in Chapter 8. It's about halfway through the book. Like I said before, um, I'm going to try to figure out the best way to sell these books. Um, right now you can get them when I speak or I'm out and about. I want to thank everybody for your support. Also, <laughs> I want to let you know that please leave a comment. Don't worry about hurting my feelings. Be truthful, okay? Don't be a hater. I don't want you to go there, but be truthful. Huh? Train with the collar. Um, pick one of these principles that I read and live by it. Here they are. Oh, here they are. As I listed in the book, probably can't see them really well if I do that. But um, it's about halfway through the book. Um, also, in the ending of this video, um, I am determined to develop this philosophy. Um, see the sweat on my lip, don't worry about it. I shut the air because you don't have to be able to do the video so it gets hot in here. Um, I'm determined to get this philosophy out there and people to follow it or learn by it. Um, Saying in all, this, all my videos, it's not a religion, it's a philosophy, it's a mindset to live by. Um, I want to buy some property. I want to buy about 80 acres, 100 acres, maybe in North Carolina, South Carolina, and I want to build a retreat where we can teach what's in this book, where you can come and you can meditate, you can relax. Um, in the book, I call it Utopia. Maybe we'll call it that, maybe we won't. It's a place where you come in, you check in. <laughs> it's not Disney World. You check in, you take the earbuds out, you get rid of the laptop, you get rid of all that bullshit that we're involved with, and you just become human. The big, I have a whole, let me see what chapter is real quick. Um, I think it is, I should know, I should know my book. It's in the back. Remaining Human Through Common Point is chapter 15. Um, I want to do more on remaining human because it's basically, in a nutshell, condensed version of what this book is all about, is remaining human, for us as human beings to remain human. If we don't, we are going to perish on this planet. I don't care what religion you follow, what politics you follow, um, any of that, none of that matters if we do not remain human. Being human, connecting to each other, not connecting to each other, but physically touching and feeling and connecting to each other. And the only way we can do that is we need, we need to make little pockets of places where people can do that. Um, we're losing that. Well, we're losing that fast. Um, I have a little side job at a, at a grocery store and we have a lot of younger people that are working there and I work alongside them and their communication skills. And I'm not saying this in a bad way, but their communication skills and their, their, their be able, being able to um, pick up the vibe and pick up the feelings about the human being is obvious. And it's because of this and because of this. Um, people are like, ah, you're, you're, 
Your generation is over. You're a baby boomer. You know, forget about it. We're going to move on. There's nothing wrong with moving on, and there's nothing wrong with AI, and there's nothing wrong with technology. There's nothing wrong with any of that. What is wrong with if we put all our eggs in one basket? That's what's wrong with that, okay? Don't let that happen. And that's what utopia is going to be all about. It's going to be able to, for us to remain human in a, in a world that's becoming unhuman quickly. Not that we can't live in that world of the Jetsons. I'm all for it. I think it's great. You know, I think medical advances and, and being able to beat cancer and being able to have robots do surgery, all these things that are coming because they are, a lot of it's great, but a lot of it's not. And we need to really figure that out. And the only way we can figure that out is we must remain human as well. So if you're interested in supporting my dream of building Utopia, supporting this philosophy, this amazing philosophy, which is part of Utopia, let me know. If you want to donate to me, I'm going to figure out a way to, so you can do that. I might do a GoFundMe, I'm sure. It's not to me, because I have a corporation that's formed, and that money would go into a till, and that would buy the property, help build Utopia. So, reach out to me if you're interested in this, okay? Don't don't just close down and say, I'm, I'm going forward with everything. I'm going off the cliff with, with the world. Reach out to me, and together we can build this mindset. We can build this concept uh, so people don't get buried and mired in, in what the future is bringing. On a happy note, <laughs> uh, we'll leave it at that. Thank you very much um, from the Book of Common Point. I will see you guys next time. And uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, please leave a comment. You know, even if it's like, hi, John, how you doing? I'm having an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> I don't care. Leave a damn comment. Get engaged. Please get engaged with what I'm doing, you know? I really appreciate you watching my videos. That's great. But get engaged with what I am doing, what I want to create, because I cannot do it without people helping me. I can, nobody can do anything alone. It's impossible, okay? But please get engaged with this amazing philosophy. You won't regret it. Trust me. Love you guys. Bye now.